Introduction Rocky, why are you writing all these numbers in one bracket? This is not just a bracket. Did you forget what our math teacher taught us day before? Oh yeah, matrices. So you are solving any problem? Yes, I am finding the transpose of this matrix. Transpose? What is that? Oh, you were not present in the class yesterday. Teacher taught us to find the transpose of the matrix. Hey, can you tell how to find the transpose? Yeah, sure. Come, I will explain you. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Find the transpose of a matrix Explain properties of transpose Define symmetric and skew-symmetric matrix Learn elementary operations on a matrix Find inverse of a matrix by elementary operations Transpose of a matrix A matrix which is formed by turning all the rows of a given matrix into columns and vice versa, the transpose of matrix A can be written as, for example, transpose of matrix row-wise, first row 1, 2, 3, second row 4, 5, 6 is matrix row-wise, first row 1, 4, Second row, 2, 5. Third row, 3, 6. Properties of transpose of a matrix. Here are some properties of the transpose of a matrix. First, transpose of transpose of matrix A is equal to matrix A. Second, transpose of matrix A plus minus B is equal to transpose of matrix A plus minus transpose of matrix B if A and B are M by N. Third, transpose of S into matrix A is equal to S into transpose of matrix A if S is a scalar. Fourth, transpose of matrix AB is equal to transpose of matrix B into transpose of matrix A if A is M by N and B is N by P. Examples of transpose If A is given, then verify that transpose of matrix A into matrix A is identity matrix. A is given. Therefore, its transpose A dash is matrix row wise, first row cos alpha minus sin alpha, second row sin alpha cos alpha. Multiplying A transpose and A and solving, we get A transpose A is equal to identity matrix. Hence verified. Symmetric and skew symmetric matrix. There are two important classes of matrices that can be defined concisely in terms of the transpose operation. Symmetric matrix A real matrix A is called symmetric if transpose of matrix A is equal to matrix A. A is a general 2 by 2 symmetric matrix. Skew symmetric matrix A real matrix A is called skew symmetric if transpose of matrix A is equal to minus matrix A. Here, A is a general 2 by 2 skew symmetric matrix. Theorems For any square matrix A with real number entries, A plus A dash is a symmetric matrix and A minus A dash is a skew symmetric matrix. Any square matrix can be expressed as the sum of a symmetric and a skew symmetric matrix. Examples Show that the given matrix A is a skew symmetric matrix. We have given A. So, A transpose is matrix row-wise first row 0, minus 1, 1, 
second row 1 0 minus 1 third row minus 1 1 0 we can see that this is equal to minus a therefore a dash is equal to minus a hence a is a skew symmetric matrix elementary operations on matrix elementary operations for matrices play a crucial role in finding the inverse or solving linear systems they may also be used for other calculations there are six elementary operations or transformations on a matrix three of which are due to rows and three due to columns we will only discuss elementary row operations but you may easily adapt these to columns elementary row operations interchange two rows multiply a row with a non-zero number add a row to another one multiplied by a number elementary row operations let us go through them one by one interchange two rows symbolically the interchange of ith and jth rows is denoted as given below multiply a row with a non-zero number symbolically the multiplication of each element of ith row by k where k is not equal to zero is denoted as given below add a row to another one multiplied by a number symbolically the addition to the elements of ith row the corresponding elements of jth row multiplied by k is denoted as given below when these operations are performed on rows they are called elementary row operations and when they are performed on columns they are called elementary column operations invertible matrices an n by n matrix a is called non singular or invertible if and only if there exists an n by n matrix b such that ab is equal to ba is equal to in where in is the identity matrix the matrix b is called the inverse matrix of a look at this example here a and b are given we can easily check that ab is equal to ba is equal to identity matrix hence a is invertible and b is its inverse inverse of matrix by elementary operations this is a fun way to find the inverse of a matrix we play around with the rows adding multiplying and swapping them until we make our matrix a into the identity matrix i and by also doing the changes to an identity matrix it magically turns into the inverse the elementary row operations are simple things like adding rows multiplying and swapping let us go through an example in the next screen example find the inverse of a we start with the matrix a and write it down with an identity matrix i next to it this is called the augmented matrix now we do our best to turn a the matrix on the left into an identity matrix and the right hand side comes along with the ride with every operation being done on it as well but we can only do the elementary row operations and we must do it to the whole row start with a next to i in this example our first step is to add row 2 to row 1 then divide row 1 by 5 then take two times the first row and subtract it from the second row multiply second row by minus 1 by 2 now swap the second and third row last subtract the third row from the second row and we are done example find x if matrix row wise first row x minus 5 
minus 1 multiplied by matrix row wise first row 1 0 2 second row 0 2 1 third row 2 0 3 multiplied by matrix row wise first row x second row 4 third row 1 is equal to 0. Given that we have matrix row wise first row x minus 5 minus 1 multiplied by matrix row wise first row 1 0 2 second row 0 2 1 third row 2 0 3 multiplied by matrix row wise first row x second row 4 third row 1 is equal to 0. It implies that matrix row wise first row x plus 0 minus 2 0 minus 10 plus 0 2x minus 5 minus 3 multiplied by matrix row wise first row x second row 4 third row 1 is equal to 0. Solving this we get x square minus 48 is equal to 0. It implies x square is equal to 48. It implies x is equal to plus minus 4 square root 3. Example Find the inverse of the given matrix. Row wise, first row 2, 1, second row 4, 2. Let the given matrix be A. We know that A can also be written as AI. Therefore, row wise, first row 2, 1, second row 4, 2 is equal to row wise, first row 1, 0, second row 0, 1 into A. Applying R1 changes to R1 minus 1 by 2 of R2, we have matrix row wise first row 0, 0, second row 4, 2 is equal to row wise first row 1 minus 1 by 2, second row 0, 1 into A. In this equation, on left hand side, we can see all the zeros in the first row of the matrix. Therefore, a inverse does not exist. Did you know? A rectangular matrix does not possess inverse matrix since for products BA and AB to be defined and to be equal, it is necessary that matrices A and B should be square matrices of the same order. If B is the inverse of A, then A is also the inverse of B. Uniqueness of inverse. Inverse of a square matrix, if it exists, is unique. If A and B are invertible matrices of the same order, then inverse of AB is equal to inverse of B into inverse of A. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. If A is equal to A i j m by n, then A dash or transpose of A is equal to A j i n by m. Transpose of transpose of matrix A is equal to matrix A. Transpose of K into matrix A is equal to K into transpose of matrix A. Transpose of matrix A plus B is equal to transpose of matrix A plus transpose of matrix B. Transpose of matrix AB is equal to transpose of matrix B into transpose of matrix A. A is a symmetric matrix if A dash is equal to A. A is a skew symmetric matrix if A dash is equal to minus A. Any square matrix can be represented as the sum of a symmetric and a skew symmetric matrix. Elementary operations of a matrix are as follows. If A and B are two square matrices such that AB is equal to BA is equal to I, then B is the inverse matrix of A and is denoted by A inverse and A is the inverse of B. Inverse of a square matrix, if it exists, is unique. 